What a beautiful baby. We think so. Yeah, I'm one proud dad. Sure you are. You're both so very lucky. What is he doing here? Uh, just one final bit of clearance before we take him back to Pat. You know, I never saw the resemblance before, but now I get it. She looks just like her mother. Okay, get him out of here, would you? Yeah, sure thing. See you around. Let's go. Did you see the way that Peter was smiling at Bailey? It's almost as if he knows the truth. He said Bailey looks just like her mother. He meant you. Did he? I mean, Chase, what if he suspects the truth? What if he was saying that, that Bailey looks like Maxie? You gotta remember, Brooklyn. That's that's just who Peter is. It's He wants to get under your skin. If not with poison, then with words. But Peter can't possibly know. Peter can't possibly know what? You know, I Laura, hi, hi. Chase and I were, um, we were just talking about what an awful, awful human being that Peter August is. Mm -hmm. He can't possibly know how much harm he's caused to Maxie, to Elizabeth, to my family, especially to Monica. I mean, between Jason dying and Drew being locked away in that prison for all that time, Peter deserves to be locked up till the end of time. Yeah, we're hoping that when August goes to trial, he'll be convicted and sentenced to life. Well, I have the same hope. You know something, you guys? It's really easy for young adults, new parents to, um, lose their sense of faith, you know, with all the responsibility, but you can't let that happen for her sake, right? Because she will grow up in a better, safer, kinder world. A world where Peter August can't come back to haunt any of us. Amen to that. Anything to protect Bailey.